Hi children, how are you all? Hope you are fine, isn't it? Yes, very good. So dear children, once again welcome back to our maths class, okay? So children, in our last class, we learnt about descending order, isn't it? What do you mean by descending order? Yes, very good. Arranging the numbers from the big to the small, isn't it? From the big to the small, that is called descending order. Arranging the numbers from the bigger to the smaller is called descending order. Then what do you mean by ascending order? Yes, very good. Arranging the numbers from the smaller to the bigger is called ascending order. Now, I think you are clear about ascending order and descending order. Isn't it children? Yes. So, in our last class, we have some homeworks. Isn't it? Yes. Have you all completed? Yes, very good. So, now we are going to complete that homework. Okay, children? Yes. So, the first question is 8, 13, 3, 4. Now, we are going to arrange these four numbers in the descending order. Okay, children? Yes. So, what will you do? Yes, first we want to count the numbers and want to draw the blank lines. Isn't it? So, here 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers. Four numbers are there. So, we want to draw four blank lines, isn't it? Yes. So, one, two, three, four. Now, what is the next step? Yes, very good. We want to select the smaller number, isn't it? You want to select the smaller number and write it from the back one, isn't it? Yes. So, here, three is a smaller one. And select three and write it in the last line, okay? Last blank line. Then 4, 4, then 8, then 13. Okay, children, this is the answer. Okay, shall we move to next question? Yes, so next also 4 numbers. So we can draw 4 blank lines and select the smaller number from the given number. Okay, children, yes, so here 4 is the smaller one. And select 4 and write it in the last blank line. Okay, so 4, then 10. Then 12, then 17. Okay, children, this is the answer. The third question is four number also. So we can draw four blank lines and select the smaller number. Here, one is the smaller one. So select one and write it in the last line. Okay, then three, then seven, then 15. Okay, is it okay for you? Yes, very good. Then here also four numbers. Then select the smaller one. Yes, very good. Three is the smaller one. So three, then eight, then fourteen, then nine. The question is already in the descending order, isn't it? Yes. So we can directly write. Okay. Yes. Then here four numbers. Select the smaller one. Yes, very good. One. One. Then six. Then twelve. Then 15. This is the answer. Okay, children? Yes. So, the last question is, here, 5 is the smaller one. 5, then 8, then 10, then 11. Okay? So, this is the answers. Okay? Have you all completed? Yes. Very good. So, children, today, we are going to see an, another one interesting topic. Okay? That is in the unit 2. Okay? Page number 39, 38, 39, unit 2, one digit addition, okay. Now we are going to see about addition, one digit number, single digit number addition, okay children. So children, what do you mean by addition? Addition means joining, okay. Addition means joining something, okay. So in my hand, in my single hand, how many fingers are there? Yes, one, two, Three, four, five. There are five fingers in my hand. And in my second hand, it is also five fingers, isn't it? So, see children, how many fingers are in my two hands? Yes. Can you count it? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, this is the addition. Okay. Now, we are... Join these two fingers, isn't it? Yes, here 5, here also 5. So, answer is 10. 
This is called the addition. Okay. So see children. How many pens are in my hand? Yes. Here one red pen and one black. How many pens are in my hands? How many? How many pens are in my hands? Yes. One, two. So this is called joining. Joining means addition. We can add these two pens. So one plus one. Okay. So this is two. Okay children. So children, now see, in my right hand, only one spoon. In my left hand, there are two spoons. So can you count it? How many spoons are in my hands? Yes, one, two, three, isn't it? So in my hand, there are totally three spoons, isn't it? So this is called the addition, okay children? This process is called the addition, okay children? So children, in where we, were, we can use addition in our daily life? Can you say? Yes. If we are going to a shop, we can buy two chocolates. Okay. So in that place, we can use the addition, isn't it? First price of one chocolate is two rupees. And another one chocolate is also two rupees. So we can add two plus two. One, two, three, four. So totally four rupees. So in these places, we can use addition in our day-to-day -day life. Isn't it children? So we are using addition in our daily life. So addition is very, very important to our life. Isn't it? Yes. So see children, here there are one, two, three, three balls. Okay. These three balls are in your hand. Okay. And see here two balls. These two balls are in your friend's hand. So now we are going to play. How many balls totally we have? How many balls totally do we have? Yes, we want to add this, isn't it? Addition, we can use addition here. So we have, otherwise you have only three balls. Your friend have two balls. So totally we have how many balls? One, two, three, four, five. Isn't it children? Five. Okay. So this process is called the addition. So we can use this plus symbol for addition. Okay children? This is the symbol for addition. This symbol is called plus. Okay. So we can use this plus symbol for denoting addition. Okay children? So three, one, two, three. Three balls plus two balls which is equal to five balls. Okay. So totally how many balls children? Yes, very good. Five balls, okay. So this process is called addition, okay children. We are having three balls and your friend having two balls. So we can use this addition. We can find out the total number of balls, okay. One, two, three plus one, two. So totally one, two, three, four, five. So three plus two equal to 5. Okay children? This is the addition. Okay? So, see children, how many cups are in my hands? 2. Okay? 2 cups are in my hand. Okay? 1, 2. In my right hand, I have another 2. So, see, how many cups are in my hands totally? 1, 2, 3, 4. Isn't it? Yes, very good. 4 cups totally are in my hands. Isn't it? So, I have Four cups in my hands. Okay. So this is the addition. Okay children. See. I have three sketch pens in my left hand. And also three sketch pens in my right hand. How many sketch pens do we have? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So totally... We have six pens, isn't it? So this process is called the addition. Addition means joining. Goes to add. Hey, look at Amy. What is she doing near the window? Come, let's find out. She is counting the vehicles at the signal with her fingers. There are three buses at the signal. So, she opens three fingers 
of one hand. One, two, three. Two more buses stopped at the signal. Now, she opened two fingers of her other hand. One, two. Now, to find the total buses at the signal, Amy counts all the fingers she has opened. One, two, three, four and five. There are five buses standing at the signal. Let us see her using her fingers again. See, now there are five cars at the signal. Three more cars joined them. So, how many are there altogether? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. There are eight cars standing at the signal. This is how we add with the help of our fingers. Use of counters to add. Hey, look! Amy and her friends, Felix and Cherry, are playing with marbles. Cherry told Amy and Felix to add 3 plus 3 with the help of marbles. Felix kept 3 marbles on the ground. Now, Amy kept 3 marbles on the ground. How many marbles are there in all? Let us count all the marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we came to know that three plus three is equal to six. Let us play again. Now, Felix told Amy and Cherry to add 4 plus 1 with the marbles. Amy kept 4 marbles on the ground. Cherry kept 1 marble on the ground. How many marbles did they keep in all? Let us count all the marbles. One, two, three, four, five. So, we came to know that four plus one is equal to five. Now, it's time to go home and sleep. Amy and her friends have school in the morning. Use of number line to add. This is Amy's classroom. Today, we are going to learn how to add using a number line. Let us add 3 plus 2 using the number line. Circle the first addend 3. Now, take two jumps to the right, equal to the second addend. The number that you reach, which is 5 here, is the sum. So, 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Now, let us try another example. 
Find 4 plus 5 using the number line. Circle the first addend 4. Now take 5 jumps to the right. 9 is the number you reach. So 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Count mentally. Today we are also going to learn how to count mentally. Let us take an example. 3 plus 2 First, think of number 3. Then, count two steps forward from 3. 4, 5. So, we write it as 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. We can also think of number 2 and count 3 steps forward from 2. 3, 4, 5. So, 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Let us try another example. 5 plus 3. Think of number 5. Now, count 3 steps forward from 5. 6, 7, 8. So, write it as 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. It was so much fun to learn the different ways to add with Amy. Thank you, Amy. So, children, in book page number 39 and 30, 40. Okay, 39 and 40. There are some of the situations are there. We can find out how, in which situation we can use addition. Okay, this, this is your homework. Okay, children, you can do these two these two pages, okay? You can complete these two pages, okay, children? We will meet at our next class. Bye, children.